Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to another Barley channel. So today, as you can see, there is a clothing line right here. And I'm doing a few laundry. Or the washing machine and the dryer is outside. Dryer is not working at this very moment. So we're going to hang our clothes on the line so we can be dry from the sun. Yeah, that's how we do it down here. So you really don't need a dryer. They have one, but it's not working at this very moment, like I said. So they just wash their clothes in a regular washing machine like we do have in the state. And it rings it out, dry it, squeeze it out very well. And I'm gonna put them on the line and I'll show you guys how we get it done. So this is how I'm gonna do it. So we're gonna get our beach towel or pool towel. Gonna get it out. <clears throat> Follow me over here to the line. Jordan. Yeah. Look at me. This one? I don't even know who's it. I'm gonna take it from somebody. <laughs> I think I took it from Auntie Annette. Oh, I yeah. <laughs> and that's one towel down. We're gonna get some more towels and show you guys how we do it. It's in it's on the table or in the bathroom. Oh so this is another beach towel. Clothes. I'm showing them how to do it because I have a YouTube channel. We're going to use our clothes pin. We're going to hang it up on the line so that way the clothes does not slide off or just blow away. Yeah. Mm, it smells good. Let me show you what type of soap we use. Hold on. Uncle Mark. What soap do we, what soap you put in here? Can I see the soap you use? Okay. So this is the soap that was used. It's an all purpose soap, but it's like also, it does also have like arm and hammer. And it smells pretty, it smells good. It's like a blue, a blue color soap. So, <clears throat> they do have Tide here, but Tide is very expensive since you have to pay like a import fee. So a lot of Jamaicans don't use Tide, especially in the hood or ghetto. But if you go to like the middle class, high class, you probably can find Tide in their home, just not here. <laughs> right? That is very expensive. Yeah, it's expensive. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah? <coughs> they are both too low, doesn't it? Too low? Gotcha. And right here is just a blanket that we brought down for the kids because when we left Florida, we had a connected flight in um, Baltimore, and it was super, super cold, even in the airport. So it was like 20 something degrees. So we, I brought a blanket and I also washed it Mom. and I needed to get back up. Auntie. Okay y'all, so this is what it's like now. So I hung all the blankets. Well, not real, just one small blanket and the beach towel that we used to went to the waterfall. I washed those with the washing machine and they're drying. I give it about a maybe, maybe 30 minutes. Since the sun is like directly hitting it, it'll be drying no time. And that's how we do laundry in Jamaica. And if they, you don't have a washing machine, most people would use like a bucket, more like a bigger bucket than this. It depends on how large the loads are. And they'll sit down, they'll use a scrubbing brush and they'll wash the clothes bring it out and put it on the wall or even the clothing line some people <clears throat> put it on the wall as you can see the direct sun is it in it some people put shoes on the fence if they have wet shoes and stuff like that and yeah this is just how we live in the hood or the ghetto this is it we live a 
normal life like everyone else, just not as prestige as other and not as uh, <clears throat> wealthy as other, yeah. Okay, y'all, so it's nighttime and I'm about to retrieve all my washed towels and the sheet and the blanket that I did today in the washing machine. It is completely dry at this very moment. Dry, dry, dry. I'm gonna go ahead and take them off the line and put them away. And that's how we wash our clothes and dry it on the clothing line in the ghetto. Well, thank you guys for staying tuned and watching to see how we do our laundry here in the hood or ghetto in the heart of Jamaica. And yeah, Mom. this is how we do it. Yes, baby. Yeah? Cut and climb up the wall. No, 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 no. We're gonna go the other way. Remember, I told you this is dangerous here. Mom. So we're gonna go around. Mommy, cut and climb up the wall. Oh, really? Oh, tell him you gotta be careful. And I'm and I'm sure it's out for a way. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Hold on to the rail because he doesn't want you guys to get hurt. And, this one. and why we got so much lip gloss on, girls? Huh? Mm -hmm. You like lip gloss? Yeah. yeah? Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Good night. No, baby. Good morning, y'all. So I'm out to take the blankets and the sheets from off the line. I'm going to go ahead and fold it as I've taken it off the line. Do not go downstairs. It's about to rain, so please go back inside. Let me just go like this. Because the, the rain is coming down. Taking it from off the line, put it over my shoulder, and then I'll take it inside and I'll give it a nice fold. Get inside. It's raining. Let me get these off before they get wet again. Get inside. It's raining. Get inside right now. Get inside right now. Oh, what's that? That's the cat. <laughs> oh, we about to go. Come on, mama. It's raining. Oh, it's raining. Go. Our first rain in Jamaica. No, not our first, like first actual. No, first actual rain. It's been five years since we've been to Jamaica. We came back, unfortunately, for unforeseen event. Come on. Our grandma passed away. Well, so we came grandma for a funeral. Passed away. My great grandma passed away. Mm -hmm. My great grandma passed away too. Yeah.